Your engine's been swimming in it, and now it's the top half of your body's turn to bathe in it. That wonderful, greasy engine oil. Because nothing covers you in oil faster than taking off that engine oil filter. But what if you could 3D print an oil filter wrench that not only wrenches off the oil filter, but keeps you from getting your hands dirty while you get your hands dirty working on the car? In a universe where gloves don't exist. And if you want it made in metal instead of plastic, you can think of the cost savings of two to three oil changes yourself as getting you a metal printed version of this wrench from PCBWay, the sponsor of today's video. Every oil filter I've used on my vehicles has had 14 sides, which this universal design that you can download will work for. Just scale it down to the size you need and click print. But if your oil filter doesn't have 14 sides, you can recreate it just by following along. The filters I used measure 65 and a half millimeters between sides. I create a box in 3ds Max with that same measurement, and I color code my references in yellow. Next, I create a 14-sided matching ring from that initial measurement, and I make it 5 millimeters thick by making the second radius slightly larger. To create the grips, I select every other outside face and extrude it. I could select all these outer edges manually, but instead I'm going to change my selector tool and set it up so the edge must be entirely selected. Now I can just drag a circle around and give these chamfered edges that aesthetic and hand comfort they deserve. And this was basically version 1, which worked really great as a wrench. Not so great for keeping the oil off your hands. Here I'm using water as an example, and you can see it runs down the top of the printed wrench, and in a tilted scenario, the oil could run along the underside of the wrench just as easily, getting your hands dirty. And then your arms, shoulders, pretty much you're going to be swimming in motor oil. Version 2 adds channels for the oil to go in so it doesn't reach your hands, but it is way too big. In fact, I couldn't even get it around the oil filter because the oil pan was in the way. Version 3 is super compact, but it does require support material, which leaves a terrible looking bottom surface, especially if you're printing with a 1mm nozzle. It can be overwhelmed by a lot of fluid, but in the real world, it works just fine. The angled sides made it super easy to grip, and it can be flipped over if you want the grips to face the other direction. Version 3.5 requires no support material, but it may still be too big for some vehicles. All of these files are available for free download on 3dpc.xyz and Thingverse. I've got a couple other playlists you can check out over here for 3D printed goodness, and I will see you in the next one. I'm trying to make the audio work in here, but if I remove all the noise cancelling stuff, this is what it sounds like. And that's what both 3D printers over there are.